Hi all. So today I'm going to show you how to make your very own set of Scottish small pipes. Um, now I had for a very long time wanted uh, to try a set and they're all very expensive to find a set that's uh, of any kind of real quality. So what I did was I tried to make one myself. And I went through a couple of iterations. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the final product and then I'm going to show you how I got there. Get set up. There we go. Okay, so what do I have here? First, the first thing that I did was I made the blow, the blow uh, stock, and the way I did this was I took a section of CPVC pipe, half inch, standard half inch, and what I did was I created a reed valve for the end. Now, with any bagpipe, what you have to do is you have to prevent the air that you blow in from coming back out at you. So the way that I did that, if I can get this out, there we go. The way that I did that was I took the, the end of the pipe and I took a section of um, brass tubing, smaller than the diameter of the pipe, <clears throat> and I took, there we go, and I took a plastic Dixie cup and I cut out a rectangular section from here to here, and I cut a um, a little stem on either end, and I taped that to the piece of tubing, and then I put the two pieces um, with the same orientation relative to each other, so they lie flat. So then, when you blow through it, air comes this way, but when you try to blow air back no air comes through there. So that's what's called the check valve and that's the first and most important part of making a bagpipe. So the second thing that you need to do oh, also to taper this what I did was I heated the, um, the CPVC over the stove and just until it started to turn soft and then I pulled it out until the diameter shrunk and then I ran it under cold water while holding it taut and that freezes the CPVC in the correct um, in the correct size and then I took a, a pipe cutter and I cut the end off. Now to make the the drones what I did was I took a um, a three-quarter inch PVC um, T like this, and I took three quarter inch PVC pipe like that, and I cut a section of pipe here, and I um, I took a plastic bag and I stretched it over the end of that pipe, and then I put this coupler on it. So let me show you. So I took I stretched the 
piece of um, plastic over the end of this pipe here, which goes all the way up to here. And then I put this coupler on it, and it holds it taut like that. Um, now, this is quite loud on its own, so I wanted to silence it, so I took another piece of, of that three-quarter inch, and I got a cap for it, and I drilled a hole. And the hole allows air to come in and out so that the, the whole system can still vibrate, which is necessary for the pipe to work, um, but it dampens the sound. So the next step is cutting this piece here, and this piece only goes in to about here, this piece of, of CPVC 3 quarter inch. Now, I took a piece of half inch pipe in the, in the right length, and that took a little bit of fiddling to get it right. Um, at, the, at the end of this um, video, in the, in the comments section, I'm going to post a link to a bagpipe simulator program written in Java that will allow you to cut the pipes to the right length um, by giving you the true note that it's supposed to be playing. So then what I did was, I, as you, as you may be able to notice here, there's, there's a gap between this pipe here and this pipe here, the half inch and the three quarter, because the ID of the three quarter is, not, uh, is larger than the outside diameter of the half inch. So what I did was I took electrical tape and I wrapped it around this pipe here at this end um, just enough until it fits very very snugly inside of the three-quarter inch and then I did it again and you want two points of contact inside because it, it stabilizes it so then what you do is you push this up now snug now snugly inside of the three-quarter inch CPVC until the end of this pipe touches the membrane over here on this end that we've already stretched. And when you do that, the tape that we've wrapped around this pipe here, which is now inside of this sleeve, acts as a, um, as a o ring, it acts as a, um, a gasket. So what happens is that when you blow in here, the air, because it can't come out this way has to go up this way and push the membrane up in order to get through and into the pipe to come out. So what you've done is you've effectively created a kazoo with that plays only a single note. Now you can create one of these, you can create two or three or even four the the simulator program that I'm using, uh, the Northumbrian Small Pipe Simulator, uh, gives you the notes for four different drones and different um, notes. So if you want to, uh, to do that, you can make up to four. Um, although, be warned that the more uh, drones you create, the more air you're going to have to pump through the system. Um, so then I'm, now I'm going to show you how to create the chanter. And the chanter is created in exactly the same way as the drones, except that the pipe gets holes in it. Now this is going to take some experimenting to figure out exactly where the holes are supposed to go. And perhaps in a later video I'll measure them and give you the, the sizes. Um, I still haven't perfected it yet. but. Um, when you cover all of the holes, you get you play the scale, and that leaves the last and um, most critical part of this being bagpipes, which is the bag, and I will show you that in a second video, part two. So, thanks for watching.